Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, this is going to be a short video, but informative. Um, a YouTuber got on to my channel on my trail scout today, and uh, he's having a problem piercing all three bottles at once. And he said he put everything in the way he's supposed to, but just to confirm all that, just, you know, make sure, uh, I thought I'd do a video on this. So you want to unscrew the cap in the front first. That's kind of one of those obvious things. Now, I'm done shooting this gun for the season, so I'm not going to actually pierce the bottles, but I'm going to show you the loading process properly. Um, but you do have to remember that whatever type of oil you're using with your air guns, especially CO2 guns, but all air guns, uh, you use the right oil according to the gun. So Springer's silicone based oil, uh, with no petroleum distillants and of course no petroleum distillants are allowed in any of these guns anyways but um, I personally use 30 weight non-detergent motor oil so that's SAE 30 non-detergent motor oil in all my CO2 and pump up guns in my spring rifles and nitro rifles I use the appropriate uh, silicone chamber lube anyway so you're going to want to put a drop on the, the front bottle throw that down the throat then you need to put your next bottle in, okay, you have a collar that came with this thing. Put your next bottle in facing this way, okay. Then you put your collar in. It doesn't matter what direction the collar goes in, even though one side is deeper than the other, it makes no difference. I've tried both ways. So put your collar in. So now that collar has one end of the piercing pin at the bottle that's going this way, okay. Now your last bottle goes in this direction. Now, you do have this little Paton little cuppy thing on here. So make sure your handle is down. Push it in. Screw your cap back on. Now, you got to make sure that this goes down nice and tight. Okay? And you only need to go finger tight, but you got to make sure it is tight. If you're in the least bit concerned, find an Allen key that properly fits one of these uh, grub screws, okay, or set screws. Pop it in there and give it a little twist just to make sure that it's actually not going to move. You don't have to reef on it, but just make sure that it's snug. Now, when you've got that done, this is still facing down. The next thing you want to do is you want to pull this upward. Do not grab the barrel. Okay, there's a lot of space in here uh, at the front end, and you could probably bend the barrel a little bit, uh, which would really suck. Okay, so you have two choices. You can actually go sideways, which is not a big deal. It's probably actually the better way. It's to actually go sideways with this handle, so that you keep your hands away from the barrel. Because uh, also, if you've already sighted in your gun, and you go and you squish this way, if you do bend the barrel at all, now you're going to be shooting down really low, and that's going to really suck. So that means a whole resight in, and plus, of course, now you've bent your barrel. I really still do say to the, that Diana really screwed up when they built this gun as far as the placement of the barrel band. It should have been up more near the front, okay? Like right about in here would have been perfect, okay? Either way, because we have to work around their design, I would probably suggest at the side because then this way you can grip the gun somewhere uh, where you're not going to be pushing down on the barrel and then you just yank this to the side it will pierce all three bottles at once provided you loaded this thing in the exact sequence I showed you okay so I'm going to unscrew this and I'm going to load this one more time for you guys this way you don't have to rewind the video Okay, I think we may have uh, squashed that a little bit. We may have actually turned that in and started piercing that front ball a little bit. I've never seen that happen, but anything's possible. So, may have just gotten stuck.
when I load bottles, I usually go ahead and pierce them, but. And there we go, it's out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just that little bit of a squish, we actually did start to indent them, and we didn't even pull out the handle yet, so be mindful of that. Okay, so one more time. Front bottle goes in, and it goes in with the tip facing the back of the rifle. Then we load this bottle, then the collar, next bottle, handle down, button in, screw in the cap, and then of course do a sideways pierce or upper, depending on which way you're most comfortable with. I usually do the pierce and an upper pierce because I figured out how to do this uh, pretty quickly as far as where I'm going to hold the gun. I also have a bipod on my gun, which makes no difference with or without. But if you're a little bit concerned about maybe running into the barrel, do a sideways pierce. And that's all there is to it for loading this thing uh, to make sure all three bottles are pierced. Now, here's the thing. Um, you're going to know if all three bottles have been pierced because this thing has an extremely high shock count. Now, um, this is the 22 cal version. Um, you get about 120 good shots and then you've got a whole pile of other shots that are going to kind of get wasted because there's just not enough power to do anything practical with them. Um, but uh, the 177 cal version gets over 200 shots and it's crazy. Um, and then of course you're going to have a lot of wasted shots that you just don't bother with a pellet. Just cock and fire, cock and fire. The gun is not going to allow you to unscrew this cap properly and safely without blowing the front seal. Um, it probably won't even allow you to unscrew it anyways. Um, not safely until all the gas is exhausted. So make sure you fire it off till there's absolutely zero gas. Um, that you can hear coming out of that barrel. Wait for about five minutes, shoot off another couple rounds, then you can remove the cap, and you also shouldn't have any expansion in your O-ring. I also did upgraded O-rings in my gun. I got these green refrigerant classed, um, these are actually called air conditioning O-rings on Amazon, um, but they actually work much better than the stock black O-ring uh, that comes with the gun, uh, although they do give you a couple spares for the cap. Um, Diana should have put the right old rings in to begin with. So, but anyways, I've been using these, and as long as I wait that five minutes, I have no problem uh, getting this out, slapping in three more bottles, and going again. So, anyways, that's it. That's all. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.